All right, I am here to show you how to add something to your pages in Weebly. First thing you have to do is log in, and then you go to edit your site. And once you're there, above the top it says build, design, pages, store, and settings. I never go to store and settings. I really don't even go to design. Um, but my pages are in here, and what I would like to do is add another page for Weebly tips. So I'm going to go to Pages, and I'm going to add a page. It's going to be a standard page because I'm not going to make a blog on here. I'm going to go Weebly Tips, and I'm going to save it. And then it always sticks it down here. So if I want to put it in some sort of order, I go up. I'm going to try and find out where I put the Blogger Tips and the Google Sites Tips. Aha, here they are. I'm going to put it right under Blogger Tips because I think Weebly is our next one that's being used. I would like to get rid of this image, but for now, we're just going to keep it there. And I'm going, oh, you know what? I'll choose a layout. I don't want the image there. Hmm. I don't want to do that. How do I go back? Here we go. Try and go back. I hope you have something to keep you interested because this stinks. <laughs> okay, we're back here. So I'm going to go back to edit site. I'm going to go and find my page that I created. No, here, I'm just going to find it here where I put it under our blogs. And I would like to make a new I would like to put a video in there that I uploaded for you. So I'm going to so Weebly tip add RSS feeder and then I'm going to put why this will help people to add your blog to their feed. They will know when you post a new blog post. <laughs> and then I would like to add a video that I saw on YouTube. Well, I created it on YouTube. So I went right to that embed code. So it's going to show it right in there. But I need to find it here. Here it is. In order to find the embed code for this video I made for you, I go to share. And here's the link that you would normally share with anybody. But I'm going to click embed. And then I'm going to copy that link with the Apple C. And go back in here and click Come on. Okay, I'm just going to put it in there. It's not letting me do this now. So I'm going to get rid of this because it's being silly. And I will add another embed code here. Click here, and now it says Edit Custom HTML. I click on that. It highlights it. I paste. I like to center it, so I'm going to click here. And there is my video. I can't play it in this format on edit, but that's okay. I see it's there. And now if I don't hit publish, it won't get published. It'll just be hiding there. So I make sure I hit publish. I close out with the X, and it should be there. Now I like to check, so I go ahead and open up a new, a new thing with my scholars, rm239.weebly.com. There's my Weebly tips. And the video is not there. And this has been happening lately on Weebly, and it gives me much angst. So I will go back to it, and I will hit Publish again. And I'm thinking it's because it has to think of the video, but it should, really shouldn't have to. I go back to my site, I hit Refresh, and it's still not there. And I have more gray hairs. So I'm going to pause this while I look for it. I'm going to try this again. So while I'm waiting for it to think about it, I'm going to go back up to this picture because I really don't like it. And look, I'm going to put no header. And that gets rid of the picture. I don't even need a picture. I'm going to add a new title up here. 
Weebly Tips. I'm going to center it. That's right here. And I'm going to make it much larger. That's as large as it's going to let me make it. I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to boldface it so that it looks a little bit like a title. What I like to do sometimes is put a picture there that I've created that says something like Weebly Tips. But that's all I have. Now if you notice, the video went away. So I'm going to click on it again. Click on Edit HTML again. It's still there. So it knows it's there, but it's not recognizing it at some point. So I'm just going to leave this alone for a couple minutes. And I'll go back to it later and hit Publish one more time. And hopefully it will show up on here. See my... Oh, yeah, it showed up. Now we have to get rid of that. So I'm going to hit publish one more time. Oops. And hopefully it will all work now. Let's see, refresh. There it is. Okay, so now my video is on there, and you guys can watch this at any time. And that's how we add an embed code into Weebly. One more quick thing. I also add embed codes into my blog post on Weebly. So I go into Parent News and what do we do in LA this week? I add embed codes to show the Animoto videos. These are all embed codes. Every video I do, it's an embed code. And it's that HTML that you'll see, that code that you have to stick in there so it shows up right on your site. Enjoy.